Our next command is the kennel command. Or if you'd like to use place, you can use that also. But pick one and be consistent. This command is going to be used in a lot of different areas and is extremely valuable. We're going to start it off by using our training chain and our six foot leash. We're going to put pressure on our training chain to get into the kennel. When our dog gets in there, release the pressure. Kennel. Once your dog will successfully go in the kennel and you've repeated this on a regular basis without any restraint, you're going to be ready to go onto your e-collar and the training chain. Now that our dog will successfully go in his kennel using the kennel command, or if you're going to use the place command, going in with that command also, we're ready to start adding our e-collar to our training chain. We'll start pressure on the training chain and using the e-collar we're going to be pressing the button until the dog gets in the kennel. Kennel. You want to release the pressure immediately off the button once the dog does get in the kennel. He's now successfully understanding that he's going to go in with the e-collar pressure and then we're going to be able to go on to e-collar by itself. It's now time to take our training chain off and see if our dog will perform the kennel command with just the e-collar alone. Giving the command, we're going to put pressure on our e-collar, kennel, pressing the button, letting the button off as soon as he gets in the kennel. You now have a dog that's doing your kennel command completely off-leash. When teaching our dog to kennel in the back of a vehicle, you have to remember now he's going to have to jump to get up there. This can be intimidating for most dogs, and it's going to take a couple of steps. Here's how we're going to do it. With the training chain, I'm going to start by putting some pressure and pulling up, and all I'm going to expect him to do is to get his feet on the tailgate to begin with. I am going to help him the rest of the way. Kennel. Once he gets this far, I'm going to put pressure on the back of his neck and pull up and give him the kennel command. This is the teaching part of the command where you're actually showing the dog what you want. After a couple of days of doing this, we're going to get our dog's momentum with the training chain to actually make a jump up into the vehicle and complete this command. After a couple of days, your dog is going to approach the back of your vehicle and actually anticipate the pressure on your training chain and he'll start to put his feet up there on his own. Here, kennel. Once he's voluntarily doing that, once again we're going to help him and get him in. That's our second step. Remember, this is a progression part of training and you want to make sure that your dog totally understands the idea of getting his feet up on the tailgate first. Next, we're going to expect the dog to make the leap on his own. Now that our dog successfully puts his feet up on the tailgate on its own, it's time to give your dog a little bit of a run up to the tailgate using your leash and encouraging him to jump. Let's see how this goes. Here. Kennel. By giving your dog some momentum, it'll help him make that jump up into the tailgate and help him be successful. If your dog struggles, just go back to pressure on your leash and help him again. Keep in mind, this command might take a little while to get accomplished. But once you do, your dog is going to jump into anything that you want him to get into. Next step, training chain and e-collar. Now that our dog successfully will jump in the back of the vehicle using our training chain, it's time to add the e-collar. Remember now, we're going to start pressure with our training chain and e-collar at the same time. Here, here, kennel. Pressure off on the e-collar as soon as your dog gets up on the tailgate and works his way towards the training carry. Remember, this command has training chain, e-collar, next step, e-collar all by itself. It's now time to remove the training chain and have our dog kennel using just the e-collar all by itself. Here, kennel, pressure on and pressure off with the e-collar. We now have our dog doing his kenneling command in a vehicle off-leash.